Ugh. Say that shit. Woof. Wait, what? <laughs> Cheers. Welcome to church. Hello, my love. How are you doing today? What is today? Uh, today is February 18th. Mm-hmm. Today's <laughs> Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be all right. I'm good. Yeah. I mean, me too. I'm gonna. It's a um, it's a Sunday, so I feel like I'm gonna be sleeping until eleven. Yes. And you then just that. relaxing and uh, not having a big deal about it, which leads me already to my question. We didn't do an intro, but who cares? You know who we are by now. <laughs> if you don't, then go back to previous episodes. Uh-huh. And if you don't know who we are and you don't appreciate that we're not doing it, then you're not the right audience for us. Uh, so respectfully move on. But, uh, okay, here we go. Question for you, Kendall. Ready. Okay. Are you a person in an ideal life situation, not circumstance, ideal situation, just ever in your life, any age, that you would or would not celebrate valentine's day (laughs) (laughs) it's so fucking annoying because like i know if you're like anti-valentine's day you're like stuck in high school because like it's like the anti-prom movement and i get it and i like get the immaturity of it but let me tell you something about myself just quickly (laughs) <laughs> this day has personally attacked me on so many accounts. <laughs> Tell me everything. I just can't. I just can't fuck with it anymore. And so it's just like. We ignore her. She's a mean bitch and we ignore her. Right. And I'm meaner. Until the day passes. I can the sun that. goes down and right. she's dead. Yes. <laughs> Put it in the ground. I have been ghosted, bamboozled. July the 4th. I've been ghosted on July the 4th. So I'm kind of bitter at July the 4th. Um. I don't know. I just, and like, I get it. I get like people like need it and want it. And that's like, we should do it more often. Yes. I'm for that. Um, but no, this bitch can just fuck off. Like I, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to act like it's not even there. And I'm just going to be like, okay. Um, I'm making pasta. I don't know. I like it. I, I, I hear you and stand by that. Like I, When I was maybe 16, I had this idea of what it was supposed to. (laughs) I'm 16. Yeah, like what it was supposed to be. And like, as a grown ass adult, Mm. Greg and I just tell each other, like, can we not? And he's like, oh, my God, I was going to say like, (laughs) Oh, my God, thank you. And that. My friends, is true love. That's it. That is true love. When you're like, can we not do this fucking charade that is this dance about me acknowledging that I love you? Because you know what? If you love people in your life, if it's your mother, if it's your significant other, if it's your child, if it's your friend, I would argue you do it every goddamn day. And you treat them that way. You don't have to buy them gifts every day, but I'm an overspender of gifts. I do that all the time anyway. My friends can attest. I buy shit all the time for them because I love them and I want to spoil them. Not because it's, you know, Friends Day. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. And I can't attest that. You do do that. Do do. I do. Mm -hmm. And I don't care about Valentine's Day, which Mm -hmm. is funny. Would you have guessed that about me, that I don't give a shit about Valentine's Day? Because I I think so. I think so. I think that I would have had that. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I can sleep well at night. (laughs) Because seriously, if you were like, no, I thought you would have like made a big to do about it. I'd be like, okay, I'm going to go kill myself. Um, I will be back in a minute after I slip my wrists. We'll see how long I last for this episode. (laughs) No, I could see you. I'm not backtracking here at all. I could see you doing like a different take. I could see you like having a cool tradition that like is not Valentine's related at all. That like you guys, like I could see some like alternative Valentine's stuff happening, but I couldn't see like. Like the roses and the chocolates and the mishy gushy. And I couldn't see that for you either. I feel mm-hmm. like you'd be, I feel like you'd feel out of place that either you were doing it for someone or someone was doing it for you. You'd be like, what is this? Like this, mm-hmm. why, why, why is this happening? 
I feel like you'd just be like, I know that it's Valentine's Day, but like, do we have to do this? And like, the other thing is like, okay, we're going to go out and have dinner or something. You know how booked places get, which means how crowded and annoying and overstressed the staff gets. Is that what you want to be? Is that what you want? Experience? Is that what you want? (laughs) And you're probably going to have a set dinner and... mm -mm. Right. And overpriced mm. set dinner. And like, did you see Sex in the City? Like, it never goes well. <laughs> All the balloons. So you true. know, and like, <laughs> drama can't happen. Anyway, it's just too much. The pressure. And like, again, as a teenager, I was very much like, oh, this is so great. It's so cute. I love it. Everybody loves me. I need to know how much it is. But as an adult, I'm like, I honestly, can we just skip through? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's great. It's sweet. Anytime that people can be nice to other people, like I endorse that, do it if you do you. But for me and my household, I do like February 1st comes around, which just came around. And I usually go, can we not? (laughs) (laughs) I can love you. I acknowledge. See how on top of it I am that I'm looking ahead a fortnight and like still. Two weeks notice. But, like, still, can we not? And, like, you know, Greg's like, yeah, yeah, thank God. Because, yeah. I mean, I, I imagine as a straight man, he's got to be like, oh, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, my God, thank you. I got to go thank buy you. these I don't wanna, diamond I don't earrings. Do right. I already have to deal with your birthday, Mother's Day, fucking Christmas. Christmas. I'm tired. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't want to do any of those anymore. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, me too. I don't yeah. want to do it either. Let's not. Let's just yeah. not. Yeah. So anyway, on yeah. that very romantic note that you both <laughs> are, <laughs> let, that leads me to the drink of the episode, which mm. is Cupid's Arrow. Mm. Ingredients. One and a half ounces of vodka, a three quarters of an ounce blood orange liqueur. Yum. One and a half ounces orange juice. This is not so different from, I mean, it is different, but it's not so different from your uh, recipe last episode um, mm-hmm. for the SpaceX episode. Anyway, one splash lemon juice, five chopped berries, your choice, but this writer recommends raspberries and strawberries. Uh, that sounds still fucking delicious. That sounds amazing. Oh my God. Lemon. One teaspoon sugar and half a packet, oh, sorry, or half a packet of Splenda. If you're watching your calories, I don't even need the sugar. I'll take the fucking tart. Mm-hmm. I don't even need it. Mm-hmm. Half mm-hmm. a can lemon lime so, so sorry, lemon lime soda, like Sprite or Seven Up, or um even you could probably do um La Croix if you are a bougie bitch. Oh yeah, <laughs> La Croix. If lime. you're rich, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or I don't even have La Croix. I've never no, I don't. tasted La Croix in my life. Mm. Uh, and then one sprinkle chocolate shavings. So oh, after all that fruity business, you're going to throw a little bit of a chocolate uh, zhuzh on the top. I like it. You know, like I a chocolate like covered strawberry. I'm into that. Yeah, me too. I think, again, it's a super sweet thing. It's going to be delicious. Whatever. So combine vodka liquid liqueur, orange juice, lemon juice, and sugar, and shake vigorously. Uh, wet and dip glass rim in pink or red sugar crystals. Because, you know, you just got those in your closet. <laughs> you know uh, fill glass with ice cubes. Pour shaken mixture over ice. Add Sprite and stir to mix. Sprinkle with chocolate shavings. Okay. I mean, very sweet again. We're going see. Here's what happened. You and I went very whiskey rich in our recipes. Yeah. And we were like, this sounds disgusting. (laughs) Or like vodka rich or gin rich or whatever. We were like, this sounds disgusting. This sounds like gasoline. (laughs) And then we were like, Mm. no, we're going to flare it up. And we're going to add sugar and, you know, fruit to it and make it very nice. And so that's what happened. I I suspect. (laughs) Yeah. It It was too much whiskey. It was too much whiskey. Too much whiskey too many times in a row. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. so here we are yeah. taking a little uh, sabbatical from the hard stuff and yeah. into the sweet headache inducing stuff. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> the stuff that'll sneak up on you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what is Valentine's Day? Well, it's celebrated in the U.S., obviously. It's also celebrated in Canada, Mexico, the U.K., France and Australia. I didn't know that. I, I thought it was either. just an America-centric America thing. 
Oh, I thought so. it was a global thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. So it started in the beginning of time. <laughs> uh, we need to Sorry. do like a musical Every effect. Ru- da- da- da. The, so it's funny for us. Right. Uh, me. Because we don't film these back to back to back. We film these spaced out very far so if anybody actually is binging these episodes god bless you because we make these jokes <laughs> like i make these jokes over and over again and it's like i'm so sorry like if you're listening to <laughs> you're these hour by one? hour like oh like we're gonna no. start at the beginning of time pop up <laughs> we need an effect I'll, I'll be on the hunt i will be on the hunt yeah you can have like a little button like mm. a radio show Here <laughs> like, it comes. Wah, wah. yeah yeah okay so, uh, it started as a celebration for St. Valentine, the patron saint of love. As you may remember, we mentioned uh, sainthood for a second during our fair- fairy tales episode, mm-hmm. um, St. Barbara. But anyway, um, a sainthood is basically a gold star sticker um, bestowed on the extra jesus people for doing extra credit good things in their lives um they perform a miracle or specifically three miracles um ain't no thing hold my beer right and then <laughs> <a gentleman> entitled <laughs> old men in robes decide if you're cool enough to join the club poof you're deemed a saint uh so saint valentine is one of those saints it but like that went through that kind of a um scrutiny went through that kind of a trial i don't know whatever you would call it that's what happened nomination confirmation in the senate (laughs) yes that's exactly what happened (laughs) he was elected to the sainthood (laughs) of the senate it'd probably be better (laughs) um okay but who was this guy like what was like there was a person that actually lived like lived and breathed like us who was this person saint valentine well apparently the Catholic Church forgot to write down the details because it actually recognizes three separate individuals. And we're like, hmm, it's that guy or that guy or that guy or like somewhere in between. Maybe God wants them all to be. I don't know. We don't know. So in addition to sharing the same name, Valentine, uh, they were all martyrs, which is just a fancy way of saying they were murdered for their beliefs. Like, we shouldn't right. have a word for that. We should just say we murdered. Really, they were murdered. They were fucking murdered. <laughs> Martyr, murder. It's very close. Yeah, it's very, yeah, murder, that's true. Murder. Just roll the inflection a little harder. Murder. murder. Muck duck. Murder. Muck duck. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So one version of Valentine says he was a Roman priest. Huzzah. Whatever. Praise be. Whatever. Emperor Claudius II at the time was like, huh. I've noticed. That soldiers are better when they don't have families to be thinking or worrying about. So I'm going to make a law that says that all young men can't marry anybody. So Valentine was like, um, no. So he continued performing marriages for young couples in secret. So the emperor was like, don't do it. He was like, "Mm okay. And then he went and did it anyway. Claudius found out that Valentine was doing this. And do you know what happened to him? Do you want to take a guess? I've seen some homoerotic art of (laughs) a young (laughs) Valentine on a cross and with Mm -hmm. arrows in his body. So is that wrong? I mean, listen, that is poetry. But he was, uh, he went the same fate as Barbara. Do you remember Barbara? Oh, From our fairy tales episode. Yes, good job. He was beheaded. Um, that's what they sorry, uh, Barb. were telling you. Sorry, Barb. <laughs> mm, sorry, Barb. Uh, but... Sorry, Val. Sorry. Val. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're friends now. We can call him Val. Um, but that's just one of the versions. So another story says, wait a minute. No. Very important distinction. It wasn't that Valentine oh. guy. It was this other guy who was a bishop. Not a priest, but his name was also Valentine and he was also beheaded by Claudius. So 
not sure why it's so important that we have to differentiate that right. because they're practically the same, the same person. person. <laughs> <laughs> but somebody was like, thou dost protest. Yeah. And we had to listen to that side of the story. I live. So, <laughs> so not sure uh, why that's a big deal, but it is anyway. You can actually find photos of this one, this like this bishop guy of him today because his skull is on display at a basilica in Rome, oh. which is where everyone's skull wishes to be. It's on display for <laughs> other stupid monkeys to look at. It looks like they took, so you need to look at a picture of it. I can send it to you or we should put it on social too. It looks like they took a label maker and typed Valentine and then stuck it across his forehead. Shut the fuck up. In like a font that I can only describe as classic tattoo. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That classic tattoo font. Uh Uh-huh. So he's got this sticker on his forehead and he's got all these flowers around him and stuff. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Legit. You deserve better. Not on the glass. On no, his on his skull. forehead. They stuck it on his forehead. I'll oh show you the, I'll show you the picture. Like, this is Valentine, in case you didn't know. It's like, you couldn't have put that on a plaque in the, <laughs> on the case that was holding Bronze. it. You had to put it on his fucking forehead. <laughs> his skull head. Like, ugh. I mean, There's ugh, it just there. goes to show. I mean, I'm just losing faith in humanity by the day. I tell you what. That's rough. Mm, it is rough. Ugh. Not only are we going to okay. expose you to people, we're going to put a sticker on you to label you. Mm-hmm. I'm not into label. No, that's gay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not into labels. <laughs> but also, here, look at this fucking label across this person's desecrated head. Anyway. That they took. I mean, it was like Amazing. a severed head. He was beheaded. Mm-hmm. So somebody grabbed it and was like, we better put this in a church mm-hmm. in a glass case because it's a, an important thing. Remember, Catholics do that. We the keep relics. a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I say we. I'm not. A, I mean, I'm not uh, part of it. I was raised that way. But, <laughs> like. No, like, oh, their fingernails. Remember uh-huh. you said their fingernails, their skull, their body, Skin. their hair. Yeah. They just like, they just like it. They just like to look at it. I, I know. I know. I know. I know. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Mm-mm. Put them in the ground. Mm-hmm. As God intended. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, finally, out of these three versions, we've got door number three. So in this version, Valentine was a prisoner. Don't know if he was religious or not. They didn't say, but he was helping other Christians escape Roman prisons where they were being tortured. Um, that's also in the Bible. Remember, the Romans and the Christians ain't friends. Pontius Pilate. Not friends. No, not friends. Right. I washed my hands mm-hmm. of this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This was a thing. This was a real. This was a real um, neighborly tiff, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so it even says. While he was a prisoner there, he actually sent the first Valentine greeting to a girl who used to visit him in the prison. And he signed it, quote, from your Valentine, from your Kendall, right? Oh. Like from your Valentine. Okay. 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 So to be honest, I'm going to pick it up somewhere a little bit. Yeah. This version sounds a little urban legendy for me mm-hmm. because A, he likely doesn't have a piece of parchment and a fucking quill allowed in the torture dungeon. So, right? So, best case scenario, he's using some body fluids and a leaf that flew in from the fucking window. I mean, like, that's the best I can come up with as a a devil's advocate, right? Romantic. Here's some poop on a stick with a leaf. Love you so much. That I wrote you a note in. (laughs) (laughs) Right. Or blood. Like, oh, this guy's intense. Oh. Um, okay, so that's part A of my questioning. Part B, could the average person even write back then? I mean, I don't know. I honestly don't know that question. Like, the answer to that question. I mean, if he was a man of the cloth, then I presume, like, in prison, which is fair, maybe, then I presume he had some kind of an education, because that's usually who got it, right? They were writing scripture and whatever. But if he was just a guy in jail, then I'm not sure he's literate. So if he's writing her notes, you know, this is like 270. Like we're talking 270 years after Christ. It, so does the average Joe like write? No. No. The average Valentine? No. Does the average Valentine write? I don't think I don't 
think so. I wouldn't think so. But again, so. if you're if you're a priest or something, I could argue like he got an education and wrote because a lot of them did because they sat in convents. Just copied you know, didn't have sex, so they were busy what the fuck writing to do? Right. gospel and you know Bibles and drawing pictures and stuff with penises. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. C. If his girlfriend was visiting him regularly, why would he risk getting into trouble? By smuggling a love note. Like, again, you're in a torture dungeon. Dungeon. Mm-hmm. You're not in like a, you know, like we respect your rights kind of situation. Right. Speedy trial. None of that's happening. Yeah. Um, so I think, tell me. Tell me your thoughts on that. Well, uh, we don't even know if the third one was a, we don't even know if he was a person of faith. So, or, uh, so him being a saint seems ruled out. I guess you could become a saint for helping religious Folk, but that seems iffy to me i gotta mm-hmm. tell you i was really really hoping for like there was this guy named valentine and he had like four divorces and then like the fifth one was <laughs> it and so <laughs> that was henry like, the eighth madly in love exactly <laughs> exactly um democratizing divorce i yeah I, the first two are more believable to me the differences between them then mm-hmm. yes of course um, I don't, I don't, I, I knew that it was a saint and that's about all I knew. So. Yeah. We'll talk about why, like what made him a saint and all that jazz, but okay. this is just his origin story. Like maybe, and they don't even know. And like, again, with door number three, with this guy, this, excuse me, this third Valentine, I just think a Hallmark card version uh, back then of saying I love you is not worth getting flayed <laughs> on one of those fucking medieval torture devices. I wouldn't think so. But what do I know? I don't know anything. I'm an idiot. Who cares? So, okay. Anyway, in all these versions, he's a romantic guy, presumably, right? He's protecting love when love is being challenged. Okay. In the first versions, he's hiding you know, lovers in secret and marrying them as a priest. Like he's performing marriages when marriages are outlawed because he looks past Claudius, the emperor and looks to God and says like, these, this will be a union. Right. Um, and then in this third version, he's just being a guy like, <laughs> writing a note to his girlfriend in prison. I don't know. I don't know. I listen. I don't know. Obviously I'm very romantic. So later in the Middle Ages, which for a f- just it's not important, but the Middle Ages are like truly middle from where we are now. So think zero to 2020, right? Like the Middle Ages are like 500 BC to like, I don't I don't know off the top of my head, like 1200 BC. So it's the middle, right? Think about like AD a zero year old AD, AD. AD. Like yeah. think of like zero happens, like zero AD. And then we're in 2020 and consider that like a 20 year old. Right. So like middle ages is like five to like 13. Okay. Like that's the middle ages. So the 500s to like the 1300s. I don't know. That was a really fucking weird way to say that. But there you, go. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. I got it's it. fine. Just, just nod and smile. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. So. He becomes, in the Middle Ages, kind of a favorite uh, saint for people in England and France. And remember, I said, you have to perform at least three miracles to become a saint, um, according to the Catholic Church. So one of his most famous miracles, we're not going to go through all of them, but one of his famous miracles, which I'm going to pick the shit apart, oh, yeah. too. Uh-huh. Oops. I'm sorry. I'm just jaded. Do and it. hopefully you love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tear it, bro. Good. Okay, because I'm going to ruin this <laughs> yeah. for everyone. Um, okay. He sent a blind girl a note. He likes to do that, apparently. He likes to send notes in class. And that note, when she got it, cured her blindness because she was blind. Because he wanted her to be able to read it herself instead of having someone read it to her. That was one of his miracles. So he sent her a note. When she opened the note, she was like, I can see. I can see. And then was like, oh, my God. And then, like, I want you to be able to read this. So God, presumably. So in in 
sainthood, it's always attributed to God. It's not the saints themselves. They are vessels that give that like have a temporary superpower for God to channel. You right. know, isn't their power? They're not. They're not superheroes. It's, that's right. And like conduit. it goes. That's it. Like, good right. job. You right. did it. You did what I needed you to do. That's all you got. They're not superhuman after that. Okay, here's where I'm going to poke a little, a little tiny pinhole mm-hmm. in this, and we'll see if it mm-hmm. holds water or sinks. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. Did part of that miracle mean she was suddenly able to read? Because <laughs> from... <laughs> <laughs> from letters she had never seen before until that moment, I'm just saying, like, Either it's that or she was like, oh, my God, I can see it's a miracle. But obviously sh- I can't read. I can't so I'm read. still going to hand this off to somebody else I wouldn't to read that. it for me because I've never seen letters before. Right. Yeah. Nobody poked a hole in this. N- not one person. It's been 1500 Till today. <laughs> you heard it here first on Amateur and Why do I have to be the first to ruin Every everything? Why? Why am I the first one here? Guys, it's very lonely up here. That's <laughs> stunning. You know, I was like, I was like, I was on the same page, but you were like, you had to develop the thought. I was like, she has mail delivered to her. I'm imagining a mailbox. She gets it out of the mailbox. Why? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She opens it. Why? Mm -hmm. But how many other people touched it? Was the thing magical? Was the paper magical? No. Right. Was it just her when she touched it? Okay. And then all of a sudden she's literate. She can read. She can read. Letters she's never seen in her life because she's been blind. But, you know, maybe part of the miracle is that you also learn English. Just, or maybe one fucking, it probably wasn't fucking English. It was not English. It was but, Italian, probably. <laughs> it was I yeah. can read. Yeah, that suddenly. Yeah, that was worse. So, we're terrible. I'm telling you, though, like, there's a real, I have a question. <laughs> I have a question about all these miracles in general. Like, I'm very skeptical, and I feel like it's very ghostly, like ghost adventures, and, like, all of a sudden, we're supposed to believe that all these things happened in the bigger form. Oh, but it's God. Like, don't ask questions. No, I'm going to ask questions, because he gave me a brain to ask questions. (laughs) To ask the stupid questions. Right. Yeah. No, I agree. stupid, he wants me to call you out on it. Okay. Say it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Okay. So, anyway, that's, that's, like, St. Valentine, that's the guy that this is all based on. So moving on, why is Valentine's Day on February 14th? Um, Some think it could have been to commemorate St. Valentine's death, uh, as they often do. Like if a saint dies, you know, they make it a big day and it's a big deal. But others think that it was, (laughs) which sounds more believable to me. It was the Christians being dicks to the pagans. (laughs) Because remember, right. okay, so that's another thing. Like the Christians uh-huh. came and overtake the pay, overtook the pagans. So uh-huh. there's a big um, to do about that. Like uh, most recent, not most recently, like it happened fucking yesterday. But like the Irish people were pagan, and then the English came in and they brought Christianity, and they were like, "You're going to be Christian now," and they were like, "No," and they were like, "We don't speak your language. We speak Gaelic," and they're like, "Yeah, that's going to stop." <laughs> Uh, we're going to knock that shit off dance. right now. <laughs> yeah. And then they took over, but they also took over their religion. So they made mm-hmm. them all Christian based. Mm-hmm. So then they became Protestant Catholics, whatever, but they were all pagan before, which is very earth based, very natural kind of situation, like getting your faith from the earth and right. whatever. Okay. So anyway, when I say some believe that Christians were being dicks to the pagans, <laughs> what else is new? Chapter 28. Right. Um, <laughs> okay, here's here's what happened. There was an annual fertility festival that the pagans yep. had every year, That's and it. it was called Lupercalia. Mm-hmm. It was dedicated to Faunus, which was the Roman god of agriculture, as well as to um, the Roman founders Romulus and Remus, which is a super fun topic that I can't wait to cover in our Greek mythology episode. Anyway, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, so at the, at this original pagan festival, there were priests and they would get together and they would go to a Roman cave where they believed that Romulus and Remus were raised by the she wolf. Again, that's Greek mythology. Romulus and Remus were the founders of Rome, mostly Romulus because he killed his brother. doesn't matter. 
they were raised by a she-wolf, sucked on the teeth of the she-wolf, I don't know, gained superhuman strength or something. <laughs> no, I actually do know. We'll get to it in the Greek mythology episode. So excited because I'm a super buff on that. But anyway, so they go to they go to this place, these pagans, to worship this religion. And they're like, we're going to go to this cave where we believe that these two infants were raised, the founders of Rome. Uh, and um, we uh, get to the cave party and uh, they're like, okay, guys, like this is super fun. Where's the keg? <laughs> not really, not really. <laughs> it's like really old in times. Instead, there was probably a like, fucking keg. Probably. They're, they're probably Irish drunk. folk. I mean, aren't they? They're Gaelic. Uh, pagans are, the Irish are pagans, but also like much bigger than that. Could be anywhere so else. These are Italian pagans. Oh, okay. My bad, my bad, my bad. No, it's okay. I mean, Irish are pagans too. Um, and I definitely gave you like a super random example, but okay. So they get to the party. I just, oh, fucking people. I hate people so much. They sacrifice a goat in the name of fertility. Right. Because nothing says fertility, like the most awkward ass fucking animal on the farm. Hello. And How killing does that say it. fertility? And Who killing said, it. look at that sexy goat over there. That represents fertility. Let's kill it. Right. You could have an argument for rabbits because they'd be fucking. Yeah, because there's a million of them. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But like a goat, Mm -hmm. a fainting goat Mm -hmm. or whatever. (laughs) Anyway, if anything, you don't want to breed more of those. (laughs) That's why they're killing them. (laughs) That's right. That's right. And then also a dog for. So they do a goat for fertility and then a dog for purification, which. Okay. Okay. Dogs. Dogs are pure souls, so I buy that. Yeah. Happening. But also don't kill animals. I'm not yeah. a doctor, but I'm not a doctor. But I promise <laughs> you, it will not get you pregnant, fertility, <laughs> and it will not make you a virgin again, purity. I can promise you. I can promise you. I can promise you in all faith, mm-hmm. maybe I'm a saint. I can perform miracles. Watch me promise you right. that you will not get pregnant. Okay. By killing a fucking goat. I'm gonna do it so you can be a so you can be a I was about to say apostle. What's that called? A priestess. A, no. A saint. A, a saint. Priest, a princess. <laughs> a princess. Yeah, I could be uh I'm very much the stereotypical um saint because I'm very devout, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking that shit back. They took it from us. If there's an anti saint, I feel like I'm closer to that. I like that. Not the anti Christ, I'm not that far. Right. Okay. We're just anti scary. I'm just yeah. an anti saint. Like I have skepticism, and like I think these people are zealot, crazy people. Anyway, okay. So get this. They would after the goat was dead, they would cut the goat hide into strips, and dip them in both of the animal's blood. Why, you ask? Good question. Oh. Just to walk around town with it, gently mm. slapping women and crop <laughs> fields with the goat no, hide. Oh, man. <laughs> people did this. People woke up, lived a life, and died as old people in this lifestyle. I just need you to know that. Unfathomable. And then I'm like, well, what shit are we doing that, like, uh, you know, a thousand years from now? They're All gonna, of it! Gonna... All of it! Right. <laughs> But that, there are so many goat hide moments. That's what we should call it, Kendall, goat is goat hide moments. That's a goat hide. That's he's, a goat hide right there. He slapped me with the goat hide, and it was you an epiphany. stupid fucking idiot yeah. over there. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank Bloodied you. up goat hide. Yeah. Uh-huh. So it's like saying, uh-huh. here, let me slap you with these disgusting animal parts. And mm-hmm. ta-da, you're fertile now. Let's give ta-da, it a shot. Ta-da, you're pure now. Okay. And women liked it yeah ate it up mm-hmm. yeah because they're stupid uh, <laughs> back then i pray we're better people pray. people in general yeah um yeah oof. okay that's huge it's like a tradition like it's a festival so it's part of the it's part of the jewish think about a festival and all the things yeah. you do like mardi gras think about mardi gras it's very similar it's mm-hmm. like the Tits idea out. of like we're gonna get wild, we're gonna do crazy things in the name of bigger things. We're celebrating, yes. That is what happened here with these pagans. They were like, we, and then some men, what priests would go and slap goat 
carcass on these ladies and they go, hee 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 hee, I'm going to be fertile next year. Don't do that. And HR has a thing to say about that. HR for the community <laughs> is yeah. fucking up. Uh, I think that like, are the dudes into like, the? so is it like the slapping you know and the bloody were. thing and the like, so like you know now I'm into were. like, you're fertile and like, uh, there's just a lot of questions here, Valentine. And how many times could a priest go and slap a girl with something and go like, mm, I'm <laughs> and a not savage. be considered eh. gross? Yeah, right. I'm a savage. Eh. <laughs> exactly right. That is pinpoint laser Oof. focused. Correct. I'm telling you, this is stunning. Okay, uh, this is the origins that like we celebrate. What we celebrate today is the it's it's a thread. It's evolved, but mm-hmm. it's a thread from this. This is what it is. Okay, so yikes, whatever. Doesn't matter because eventually the Christians were like, guys, stop it. That's gross. And it was outlawed uh, toward the end of the 400s of 80. Okay, so it's a tangent, but whatever. If (laughs) pagan rituals and blood sacrifices don't say Valentine's Day, then I don't know what does. (laughs) (laughs) Which leads me to my next point. What the fuck does any of this have to do with love? Anything, right. I mean, we haven't hit it yet. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. (laughs) Here we go. So in England and France in the Middle Ages, February 14th was around the time that they noticed. (laughs) Again, people are so (laughs) fucking stupid. It was around the time that they noticed birds were getting it on. They were mating. And so they, like, I'm not kidding. I'm not making a joke here. They looked around and were like, yeah, yeah, it's love and get busy time. Because of the birds. We should have a day for that. Un- <laughs> because of the birds. Because they were like, oh, yeah, sexy time. <laughs> oh, I hate yeah, us. Yeah, I yeah, hate yeah. us. I hate us. I hate us, too. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> When the aliens come, I'm so embarrassed for us. I apologize. It was us. It was us. It was us. <laughs> Go ahead. Take it. We take it. We don't care. Of the birds fucking. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So, much, much later, they started, like, formally writing Valentines, like the 1400s. Um, I just said that was, like, the Middle Ages. So, again, okay. 500 to, like, 13. Mm, I don't know, 12 or 13. So then much later, in like the 1400s or after, they started writing stuff down. Because, you know, people are starting to write. Um, In like the mid-1700s or something, you've got little gift exchanges. You've got cute little handwritten notes for Valentine's Day. Um, And then by 1900, you've got the printed cards. Because you've got the printing press. So you can do like mass, not mass produced, but you can do like produced cards. So this is almost all I have. We're almost done. So we're on to fun facts already. So here we go. 145 million Valentine's Day cards are sent each year, making Valentine's Day the second largest card holiday, second only to Christmas. Christmas. Mm -hmm. Valentine. Okay. Did you know that? I I don't know that I would have guessed that, but... For me, that's true. I get, I have a friend who's like religious about Valentine's Day and like she literally sends Cute. like memes that she makes all year and like I'll get like 15 from her. She makes them? She makes them. It's so darling. It's so lovely. Uh, yeah. So I get like fucking 15 of those. And then like my grandparents, oddly, are always like, happy Valentine's Day card. Mm, baby. So I get. They just want to show they love you. Two cards. And then Christmas, I get three. And so, yes, I would have said that Valentine's is the second, but that's only. Okay, Glenn Coco. <laughs> Do you know that reference yeah. from Mean Girls? You're getting all the fucking roses or you whatever go, suckers. Get, you, or right, 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 right. You go, Glenn Coco. I my grand, I mean, which is sweet. I'm not like shitting on it. It's so sweet. But it no, doesn't it's matter. Not, like, numbers are numbers, thing. man. <laughs> yeah. Italian. Love is love. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. That's insane. So, I will say. I, this is not a judgment about any buddy who celebrates Valentine's Day by any means, but the British loved it so much because they were so, uh, and this was in my notes, like this was not me. They were so like 
discouraged from having emotions. Like emotions were very not cool to share in public and to share with other people that Valentine's Day was a really attractive day for them. And that's why it became so famous for them is be are so popular because it was a day where they could just express I really love you and like oh. let me show you all the ways I do. And it was like more acceptable to do that. Okay. Um that's so, cute. I mean, so I would argue Valentine's Day could be a cute day to give people permission to s- express that they love you in a day or like in a life where they feel maybe they don't feel like they can. Like yeah. Every day. Okay. I love that. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, hey, Into do that. it. If if that's what you need, do it. I mean, there's no harm in loving somebody and showing that you love somebody. Um, I just feel like if you already love them and do all the work and express it every day, then you shouldn't have to do that. But yeah. that's it. Right. This obligation. Thing. Not yeah, not shitting on anybody. You do your version. Uh-huh. You do what works for you. Okay. So yeah, I, interesting. So in 1913, Hallmark cards which was a company in Kansas City, Missouri, began mass producing Valentine's Day cards. So Hallmark started in 1913, 1913. and a huge a huge thing for them was Valentine's Day. Wow. And people would all be like, oh, I want to phone it in. I don't want to write a handwritten mm-hmm. note. Let me have this like... <laughs> They'll write it for me. Yeah, like, give it to me. Give it to me. And it has a little picture on it. A man on a unicycle or whatever, I assume. Okay. So... Planned spending for Valentine's Day is expected to reach $22 billion this year, a decrease of nearly $6 billion from last year. To put that money into perspective, because again, I have a hard time, mm-hmm. and I think most people do, understanding what a billion dollars is, let alone $22 billion. So here we go. $22 billion is the same as saying you would pay for Spotify premium for 167 million years. <laughs> or my personal favorite. Are you still a fan of Sean Mendes? Oh yeah. I hope so. Okay. Uh, oh, thank God. Oh, wait, thank pause, God. Because I pause, 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 pause. Thank God is what you said. You said, oh, thank God. My uh, go for okay, just died. Okay. I thought it might, and then I thought it might make it. I've got another battery right here. That's okay. I just didn't want to fuck up the... I have to touch the lens. I'm trying not to. Okay. You said, ooh, thank God. Ooh, thank God. Ooh, thank God. That's where I'll start. And it doesn't matter. I like it. I mean, it'll be easy to edit. Come on, back up. I'm really glad, like, off of, off of, off air or whatever. I'm really glad you still like him. I was hoping you... I was really hoping when I wrote these notes, I was like, oh my God, I hope he didn't... He didn't have a falling out with Sean because... This is a unit of is measurement. This bad? No, no, not at all. It's good. Okay. I was like, did Sean fuck up? No, no, no. Okay. All right. All right. Come on. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Hello. Um, let me make sure my settings are still. Uh huh. That looks right. Okay. 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 Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Because his net worth is $54.5 million, Mm -hmm. which means Mm -hmm. you could buy him 403 times over and still have money left over. I think I will. (laughs) You could buy his time. That's not what you said. You said him. And I think I will. You could buy him. You could buy buy 403 (laughs) hymns. And still have money left over Fuck to take him to me. dinner or whatever, whatever. you want it. Whatever. whatever you want it. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Explore. I just want to explore. It, it does not matter. Wow. Okay. Spotify for 160 million years is pretty funny. I thought I thought that was funny. I thought that was a funny unit of measurement. So first I looked up George Lucas because he was worth a lot more, and then I was like, who cares about George Lucas? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have so many Kindle likes. Sean Mendes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh-huh. how many of those could we buy? So think about even for a year. Like if his net worth is $54.5 million mm-hmm. or five years or 10 years. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's even say 10 years. You could buy him for 43 years. Mm-mm. Like his entire lifetime you could, with you could $22 billion at that level. All of it, yeah. To pay for everything that he's making at the height of his career. 
So I'm just saying. That's, and like, who has money for that shit? That's how much people are blowing on Valentine's Day to feel like they are showing their loved ones that they care about them. And you couldn't have done it with words of affirmation or touch or quality time. I Come just, on. I'll tell you, I told my husband, we're not doing it mm-hmm. and it's free. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. And he told me back. So, it's <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to end on this note. It's very important because I couldn't leave it out. Okay. Galentine's Day. Okay, yeah. What is it? It's the day before Valentine's Day, so February 13th, and it's meant for girlfriends to celebrate their friendships. And it started as a fictional day in one of my all-time favorite shows, Parks and Recreation, where Leslie Nope throws a Valentine's Day brunch for all her friends. In the episode, Leslie says, quote, Every February 13th, my lady friends and I leave our husbands and our boyfriends at home, and we just come and kick it, breakfast style. Ladies celebrating ladies. It's like Lilith Fair minus the angst plus frittatas. And that, my friend, is Valentine's Day. Valentine's and Valentine's. Yeah, Valentine's is a wrap. Galentine's as the closer. As the, I love, okay, I remember that episode and I didn't know, but I did. I forgot. It became. It's because of her. It's because well, it's of because the show. of this. It's because of this show. Like it, it did not exist until this show, I and now about it's that. about like a decade old or something. But it is truly like a national day now. Like they, they yeah. say like this is a day. Celebrate your friends. I did know that, and I forgot that. I'm glad that you reminded me of that because obviously it's coming up, and um, I've seen a couple like social media like we're pushing Galentine's, whatever. Mm-hmm. Which is great. Like, I think it's fantastic. Like, let's do that. Let's do that, like, bi-monthly. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's do it every day. Every fucking day. But I totally spaced on that. That was Leslie Nope. Mm-hmm. Good for her. I, I love know. that. Leslie, I love it so much. So, yeah, that's it, honey. That's that's Valentine's that Day. Was fabulous. It's a shorter one, but, like, that's all there is. That's all there is on this. Fabulous. Fabulous. So the jury's out on the saint. We don't know who it is. We don't know who it is for sure. They just know that like he's the patron saint of love. And like, right. you know, again, from your Valentine, whatever. Like, whatever. I mean, was it this guy? Was it that guy? And I just think about like, you're an individual person. Would you want your life exploited for this purpose? Or would you not? Like, I feel like... The jury's out on that too. Like, right. If you, you were really slap? devout, I'd be pissed that I was the wrong Valentine and I wasn't celebrated for all the shit that I did and died for. Because they were all martyred. All three of them died for their beliefs. They were murdered for their beliefs. Being a Christian in our in a Roman situation. So was but, the third one like converted at the end? Mm-mm. He was a prisoner and then he eventually was killed. Okay. Okay. So, and I, all three. At least two of the three, but I think all three were beheaded. God damn. Not the best way to go. So we don't know who it and is. And those guillotines, those guillotines and those axes weren't sharp, honey. They were yeah. blunt. <laughs> it and a it took a wax. lot of wax. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not lovely and then you, like, for a love holiday. Get a label slapped on your forehead and Americans I'm spending you, too much fucking money and... I will send you, I'm going to text you right now. Like, we'll share it later, like on our socials, but I'm going to text you the photo of this poor soul <laughs> who is trapped in this box with a label maker on his That's head. That's unbelievable. Unimaginable. That's what you get. That's what you get. You become a saint. You get a sticker on your head and you live in a box for people to stare at you and tourists it. to wear uncomfortable shoes that they regret, walking with their backpacks, sweating. In the Roman sun. That's what you get to have for eternity. People just walking up and looking at you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> One Good. more note, and then we can... So, you said that this was like 200... The first story was in like the 200s AD? Mm-hmm. He died. So, um... All of them are the ones that we think that we're attributing to died in 270 AD. So if you're having troubles recording, like who was who, 270 years after, you know, the thing, um, 
and like we don't even fucking know who it is you know i'm just like drawing some conclusions of like wait what we don't even know, know. we can't even distinct make a distinction between that's fine you know i think that we probably hijacked that and um i think that they probably hijacked it from the pagans who was actually just trying to have them like a, a fuck festival mm-hmm. which they probably hijacked they were just from trying the to birds. whack women right. the animal birds because <laughs> they were very bored and horny <laughs> Uh, no, Listen. yeah. Everything changes and nothing <laughs> changes at the same time. I feel like I have a recurring theme of cynicism, but it's really <laughs> just questions. Just, it's really just questions. Just questions. <laughs> Answer my questions, and then I will I'm sit not down. Angry. Right. I'm not angry. <laughs> I like that. I'm not angry. I never said I was angry. No. I'm confused. I just, I just have questions. Yeah. All right. I I'm love sending it. you. I'm sending you the um, picture right now, but I'll, we'll post it later, but I'm going to text yes. it to you. Yes, <laughs> let's post it for sure. Anyway, so that's a wrap for today. I mean, obviously, uh, follow us, please. Um, follow us on our YouTube channel, which uh, in adult language, that means subscribe. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. We're trying to launch it. It's brand new. Um, please give us support. Uh, and um, I don't know. I don't know. That Send me your stuff. Yeah. And that's it for today. We'll see you next week. See you next week. Okay. Bye. Bye.